What's going on? Germs here and back with another review. Today we've got a Canadian Individual Meal Pack or IMP, menu number 12, pulled pork. So stick around, we'll get this thing cracked open. All right, so this is the Canadian IMP menu number 12, pulled pork, and this was made in 2020. All right, so this is going to have, I think, a three-year shelf life. So this is basically new. It's a little out of date, but it's basically new compared to some of the stuff I've eaten. So let's get this thing open. Let's see what we got. It's got this nice little pull tab. All right, so this is our main pulled pork. Looks like it was produced the 231st day of 2019. Ooh, we've got a date square. Love those. 248th day of 2019. Got some raspberry jam. And we've got some tortillas. First uh, IMP that I've had with tortillas. We got two citron lime drinks. Got some fortified creamy peanut butter. Oh, and I love Reese's. So we got some Reese's sticks. Nice. And of course, in the Canadian IMP, we've got some sweet and creamy Nescafe instant coffee. Got some Tabasco sauce. Got our Canadian matches. White tip. Big old Canadian napkin. Very nice. Got our IMP Tic Tacs in a compressed napkin. These things are awesome. Our IMP spork. And our hot beverage bag. Probably not going to use this. All right, so that's what you get in the Canadian IMP menu number 12, pulled pork. Let's slap this down and dig in. Perfect. All right, first thing I need to do, I need to heat up this pulled pork. So I'm going to go get this in some boiling water, and I'll be right back. All right, so while we wait for the pulled pork to boil, let's make some drinks. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. And first thing we're going to do is make this citron lime drink. It calls for 250 mils of water. And I'm gonna make both of these. I got about 500 mils of water here. Let's give that a stir. And we'll set him back here. Next, we'll make our sweet and creamy coffee. And this is 245 mils, but I'm just going to eyeball it. That's good. It smells really nice. Let's give that a stir. And we'll set him back here. It smells really good. All right, let's open up these tortillas. And these are, these are really soft, actually. These are way softer than the USMRE tortillas, I think. Now let's check out this fig bar. I'm kind of excited for that. That's not what I was expecting, actually. I almost feel like I should have heated that up. I should probably check the instructions. Yeah, it says you can heat that up. I was thinking it was going to be more like a fig Newton, not something like that. All right, so let's make a peanut butter and jelly tortilla while that pulled pork heats up. Get this kneaded up. Boy, there's really not much peanut butter in there. I don't know if you can see that, but this is all the peanut butter that's in there. That's it. Just that little bit. So they're really kind of skimping on the peanut butter. Let's give it a little taste on its own. It's not bad at all. But I think if I had to compare it to the US MREs, I'd have to choose the US MRE peanut butter. I think that's better. This one has kind of a, almost a plasticky flavor in with it. It's just not the greatest. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. But compared to some of the other peanut butters I've had, I wouldn't rate it right up there. Let's get this jam out. And this is raspberry jam. give this a little taste on its own. That's really good. That is really good jam. It's got a really, really natural flavor. Not too heavy on the sugar. That's what I like. Tastes more natural. All right, let's make our PB&J taco and let's give it a shot. I have to say, 
This tortilla is much, much better than the USMRE tortillas. Much better. Nice and soft. Nice chew to it. Nice and fluffy. Good flavor. Excellent tortilla. And all together, it's great. I mean, you just can't go wrong with peanut butter and jelly. None of that plasticky flavor that I was picking up when I tried the peanut butter on its own is showing up in this. This is a great combo, and it's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. And it actually seems like the right amount of peanut butter, to be honest. I mean, when, when you consider everything else that's in here, I mean, the pulled pork, there's a lot of pulled pork in that pouch. There's plenty of calories, so I really don't think you need a whole bunch of peanut butter. So I guess I, I really don't think that's a big deal. But I am going to try the citron lime drink. See how this is. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the better ration drinks that I've had. Great flavor. Not too sugary. Very refreshing. Doesn't taste too ar artificial. Just a very refreshing, good citrus lime drink. Very good. Kind of reminds me of a, of a Gatorade, but better. Can't complain about that. And we might as well try out this coffee. Let's give this a shot. Yeah, I can't complain about that coffee, but I'm in complete agreement with Smitty. I would much rather have the espresso coffee without any cream or sugar in it. That espresso coffee in the Canadian IMPs is fantastic. I'd rather choose to put cream or sugar in my coffee. There's times when I just like to drink the black coffee and taste the coffee. This, you don't have a choice. If you don't like sugar in your coffee, which most of the time I don't, then you have no choice. This is what you get. But I wouldn't be complaining if I was a soldier on a cold day drinking that. It would be good. Don't get me wrong. But that espresso coffee that's in the Canadian IMPs, some of them, is fantastic. All right, I think it's time to go get that pulled pork and get it out here. All right, there's our pulled pork. All right, now this is flaming hot, so I'm just going to use my knife to open this up. All right, well, that's what it looks like in the pouch, and right away you can smell that smoky pork with the barbecue sauce. You can smell that barbecue sauce. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Yeah, there it is. Looking real good, smelling real good. So in case you're interested, here's the ingredients list. And here's the nutrition facts. So this has roasted potatoes in it as well, which is really cool. Did not expect that. It's kind of in a patty form, but I'm thinking it's going to break up just like pulled pork. So let's check it out. Yep. Breaks apart real nicely. You can see almost like a char on the outside. Like it's been smoked. Yeah, it looks really good. Smells amazing. So I'm going to have to take a little bite. And try it on its own first. So on its own, it's really good. I didn't mix any of that with the barbecue sauce. So all I really got was the meat. The meat is nice and tender. Nice pork flavor. Can't really taste the smoky flavor. That's probably in the sauce. But it's a nice, tender, good tasting pulled pork. I could use a little salt with this though. It'd be nice if they gave you some salt and pepper with this. So let's try one of the potatoes. Gotta love the Canadian IMP sporks. Yep, that's good. That sauce is really good. All right, let's get this mixed up nice. I probably should have done this in the pouch before heating it really broken it up in the pouch and mixed it up. That's probably what I should have done. All right, now we got it all nice and mixed up. Let's go in for a bite with everything mixed up. Yeah, that is really good. Really, really good. It's nice and tender. The pork is cooked really well. Nice, uh, natural pork flavor. It's not just a compressed piece of meat. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. They're not too mushy. They're not too crunchy. The barbecue sauce isn't the greatest. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. 
it could use a little more flavor, a little more punch, maybe some uh, some heat, some more spices. But uh, you know what? I guess that's why they give you this. So let's get uh, some of this Tabasco on it. I like a little spice with my barbecue sauce. Little heat is really all it needs. And I'm sure that'll make all the difference. Let's give that a shot. That really helped. That kicked it up a notch. Much, much better. That's really all it needed. Well, let's go ahead and make a little pulled pork taco. A little difficult to, wants to fall apart, but do the doing the best I can with this. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's a little messy. It could use some cheese. Some cheese would be fantastic on this. I have plenty of USMRE cheese that I could use, but when I do rations, I like to use just what's in there. I really don't like to add stuff that's not supposed to be in it. Yeah, this is excellent. I'd be super happy with this one. Definitely one I'd be trading for. Fantastic. I'd be one happy soldier with that. That's for sure. It definitely needed the Tabasco sauce. It needed some help. It needed a little twang, which the Tabasco gave it with the heat and the vinegar. Gave it that extra little punch that it needed. All right, let's check out this fig bar. See what this is all about. It's kind of like a cake, almost. What it reminds me of. Let's give it a shot. Here's the ingredients for the date bar, not fig bar. I keep calling it a fig bar, but it's a date bar. And here's the nutrition facts. It's okay. Definitely nothing to rave about. It's not very sweet at all. It's uh, got like an oatmeal crust, and it's very messy, very sticky. It's okay. It's not something I would eat normally. I guess let's uh, let's try some of it with some coffee. That helps, but I'm just not a big fan of it. Not bad, and as a soldier, I'd be perfectly happy with it, and I'd eat it. But it's just not something I'm really into. But these, I know are going to be good. Yeah, these are awesome. I love Reese's. Reese's anything is my go-to. Yeah, cannot complain about this. Got that nice chocolate outer coating. Got the nice wafer cookie middle. In between, you got that nice creamy Reese's peanut butter. Fantastic. Not going to bother with the Tic Tacs, but I do need to clean my hands. And these things, I've said it before, are the best. Got the Canadian maple leaf on there. So cool. Don't need much water. These are awesome. Very sturdy. You can reuse them. These are awesome. Get one more drink. All right, well, there you have it. That was the Canadian IMP menu number 12, pulled pork from 2020. What a good ration. This ration has got to be a favorite of the Canadian soldiers. Everything in it was good, except for the date bar. I think that's just okay. It's not bad. In the circumstances you'd be in if you were eating this, it'd probably taste like the best thing ever. All in all, this is a great ration. The pulled pork was very tender, very good. The barbecue sauce was pretty basic but needed that twang from the tabasco sauce when that was added it just pulled it all together and it was very very good and then the addition of the potatoes was a nice touch especially when you make the pulled pork taco peanut butter is good uh not as good as the usmre peanut butter i don't think and the raspberry jam was really really good all in all great ration 
I'd probably have to put this in the high mid tier or the low top tier. Not the best I've ever had, but pretty darn good. So if you're still here, I appreciate you being here. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you click that notification bell so you're notified when I post new content. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another review. Later. All right, so this is the Canadian MI and looks like it was produced in the turn. Come on. Yeah, whatever. None of that flavor that I was picking up in the peanut butter when I tasted it at the time, none of that plasticky flavor, none of that plastic-like flavor, none of that plasticky flavor is showing up at all in this one. None of that plastic. So there's the ingredient, but I knew deep. And the, the raspberry jam was, was really rich.